Welcome back everyone, Mariah Monetize here, and in today's video we're going to be covering some very interesting numbers that have come out when it comes to the housing market, and then we're also going to get into the price of Bitcoin, we're going to be doing a little review on the price and kind of giving you my thoughts on what to anticipate moving forward. So, uh, U.S. new home sales plunged to the lowest since the start of the pandemic. Purchases of new single-family homes fall by the most since 2013. So numbers were down, I believe, 16.6% for the month of April. Median prices hit a record, though housing inventory improves. So, I mean, we have heard a ton of anticipation when it comes to a lot of YouTubers. For example, Meet Kevin, he's talked quite a bit about actually selling off the majority of his real estate. And so sales of new U.S. home plummeted by April by the most in nearly nine years, dented by the combination of high prices and a steep climb in mortgage rates. So purchases of new single family homes decreased at 16.6% to an annualized 591,000, the weakest since April, 2020. Government data showed on Tuesday the figure fell well short of an estimate of estimates in a Bloomberg survey of economists, which called for uh, 749,000. So quite a big miss there. Um, so the average rate on a 30 year mortgage was 5.25% last week, up from around 3% at the end of 2021. So obviously we anticipated there to be an increase in mortgage rates. Uh, when the Fed started raising rates. So obviously not a surprise there, but the average has gone up quite significantly. I mean, that is nearly double. So uh, home builder shares tumbled after the report with an S&P gauge that includes DR Horton Incorporated and Leonard Corp falling 4.3%. So it looks like this, has, this news has taken down some um, real estate related stocks and home builder stocks. Um, so the new home sales report produced by the Census Bureau and the Department of Housing and Urban Development showed the median sale price of new homes rose 19.6% from a year earlier to a record $450,000. There were 444,000 new homes for sale uh, at the end of the month. That's the most since 2008. So personally, just so you guys know, I do not own any real estate in any opportunity that I had to get into real estate, for me, I did not believe that it made sense to sell my Bitcoin to get into real estate. So I prefer options that are way more passive, okay? I will consider real estate in the future, but at this point in time, I don't think it's worth it to sell my Bitcoin to get into real estate. And obviously real estate in Puerto Rico, there, in my opinion, there are amazing deals. There are amazing tax incentives. And for my particular decree, I was not required to actually purchase a property. So if I would have came to Puerto Rico like a year or two later, I may have actually been required to actually purchase real estate. But under my decree, I don't have to. I just have to have a lease in Puerto Rico. So that's kind of my thought process there. You know, in my opinion, with like when I first moved to Puerto Rico, that was like the buying opportunity of a lifetime right after Hurricane Maria. Um, but I thought that it was too risky, right? I felt a lot of fear when it came to the real estate market. So it's honest, it's honestly like such a good idea to like look back at your emotions during amazing buying opportunities. And it's probably the exact opposite of what you would anticipate. And sometimes that's a good sign to get in on certain deals. So there's some just stats there when it comes to uh, real estate and the housing market. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the price of Bitcoin sitting just above $29,000, Ethereum sitting at 1939. So uh, the, uh, the cryptocurrency market, you know, we have some coins that are up a couple percentages. We have some that are close to flat, some that are down a few percentages. So um, nothing too crazy across the board in terms of volatility. But when it comes to the uh, traditional markets, we have SPY sitting at $388, so it did take a bit of a dive today. Today is, what, the 24th? So the markets did open down today. Um, let's see, SPY percentage-wise from the opening of the day is down about 1.6%. All right, and then we have 
Uh, Bitcoin here, like I said, sitting at just above $29,000. So I'm kind of anticipating, like I said in yesterday's vi video, a little bit of an uptick um, in cryptocurrency and then down to make lower lows. Um, I mean, it could be drug out for months, you know, Bitcoin in this $30,000 range, and we don't see a lot of volatility for a while. Um, but it's always important to prepare for all. Not much has changed here on the weekly chart. Um, a lot would have to change for a momentum shift. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the daily chart to see if there's any more signs of hope here. So kind of just chopping in this range here. I don't like the fact actually on this daily chart that this red two starting started to trade below the red one. So, um, I, like I said, I'm waiting for that green moving average to cross over the red to potentially enter a short term position with probably about a 6% stop loss on it. It's kind of a large stop loss, but the hard thing with cryptocurrency is the volatility. It's easy to get stopped out of a position. So this is the 12 hour chart trending downwards, not looking good and making a lower low. So, you know, this could, this could be the start of more downside, um, maybe a little bit sooner than I anticipated without that little jump in the price, but just going to stay patient here. This is the one hour chart here on Bitcoin, which is also not looking good. Things are not looking good across the board. Um, I really wouldn't be in interested in entering a position here at this point. Tesla's down over 5% today, sitting at 636 and across the board, all electric or not all, but the majority of on my list here, electric vehicle related stocks are down. Not surprised here to see um, the marijuana space down as well. So across the board, most markets are not looking good today. We have uh, Tilray sitting at 428. We have CGC sitting at 483. So um, just not, not too good across the board here. There's really not much more to say. Um, of just, you know, being, like I said, prepared for all scenarios at this point. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's all that I have for you today. As I was go out there and create a portfolio that you love.